By now, you probably know what this video is going to be about. But what you don't know is how deep you can go with this broken tactic. It's the closest thing to cheating without actually cheating. Today, you will learn advanced tactics that disable aim assist and give you legal wall hacks by using smoke grenades and or the combat scout perfect. This method is one of many that will help you become a better player. So if you want more, hit that sub button and check out the other videos that I have for you on the channel. But what if what you're searching for is more personalized? Something that meets you at your current skill level and it understands you and it understands what's the best way for you to learn and improve. That is where I can guarantee you that my custom coaching program will not only do all of those things and more, but you will be left speechless by how much it will over deliver. And if you want to learn more, check out the description below. Starting with smoke grenades, they have two unique features that are not mentioned in their description. The first one is that you cannot live ping someone if he or you are inside the smoke. And two, if you play on a controller and you are inside the smoke area or you're looking at it, you do not have aim assist or rotational aim assist. But just because you play on a controller does not mean you should not learn about these videos because there's a solution for the aim assist problem at the end of the video and this will also help you to look out for new things in this game and be careful of them. Now, if you want to use smoke grenades only, the most basic way to use them is on yourself to create a cover around you. And that will give you the chance to fall back safely or rotate to the next spot without being exposed, which is a great passive and defensive way. But the intermediate way of using smoke grenades is to throw it at your enemy instead of yourself. And that is better than the basic way for two reasons. The first reason is because it gives you more freedom of movement without being limited to that area that the smoke covers. Take this cliff for example. I can throw it on myself, but due to the enemy's position on the high ground, we will only have that small bubble of smoke and one wall to work with. Everything else is exposed and we can't really move around. So instead, I throw it at him and casually turn away because I'm a nerd when it comes to these things. Oh my god. What is smoke? What is smoke? What is he doing? And now he can't see anything, while we can go wherever we want without him knowing that information. The second and most important reason you should throw the smoke at your enemy is because it forces them to make a very hard decision. If they want to keep fighting you, they have to push blindly through the smoke. But did you actually run away and it's safe for them to do that? Or are you pre-aiming and waiting for them to come out? In other words, smoking yourself still gives the enemy some control over the fight and also takes away from you the ability to know what's happening. Now for the advanced way to use smokes is to throw it at the enemy just like last time but to try and live ping them before the smoke pops. That way whether you, he or both of you are in the smoke you will have a live ping that you can use to track while he doesn't. A bonus way of using smokes is that if you suspect an enemy to be in a room or in a corner, throw a smoke in that area. And if you get experience points, that means he is in that smoke. He's in the smoke. Be honest with me, guys. How many of you knew about this smoke tactic? Okay, let's see if he's still there. Wait. He is, he is, he is. He's still in the smoke. And now moving on to Combat Scout. Combat Scout is a perk that automatically live pings your enemy once you land a bullet on them and can be countered by using the cold-blooded perk. And it also has two unique features. The first one is the further the enemy is, the longer the ping stays for. The second feature is that unlike smoke grenades, it will ping anyone you shoot, even if they are in the smoke or behind a penetrable wall. I'm pretty sure you guys are starting to see where this is going. Oh, by the way, random topic, but bunny hopping is back in the game and it has been since season four and nobody knew how. Now, if you only want to use combat scout without smokes, it will allow you to predict your enemy and play both aggressively or defensively. Defensively speaking, it will help you expect peaks. I just broke this guy and now he is behind the wall. He can peek from the right, left or even go behind the other wall or he might reach out me the moment i decide to look away but because i have combat scout i know what he's doing and when he's doing it allowing me to pre-fire his peak now if you want to use it aggressively one way is for chasing runaways you damage the enemy and now he is on the run the problem is sometimes it's hard to know where the enemy went off to especially when there's a lot of possible spots that is where combat scout will make it easy for you to chase them Fuck, nice bro, nice, nice, nice. Thank you, man, thank you. Actually, thank Combat Scout. Or even know where to cut them off.
Just look at these videos and look at how Combat Scout gives me the ability to know where to aim and when to shoot. To the roof, it became a red dot with an Arab. I just saw in the notifications bar, but I didn't get any audio for it. Sorry for the late reply. I love Combat Scout. Bro, I, this is why I love Combat Scout. A second aggressive way would be predicting ego chows and angle holds. Sometimes you chase an enemy and he disappears for a second around the corner. That is the most effective time for him to catch the aggressor, which is in this case you, off guard and break their camera. But with Combat Scout, you can see if the enemy is going to reach out you and when, so you can pre-aim and pre-fire that. This logic also works with people that are holding an angle or a heady. One sniping from headquarters. One landing on you. The last and most common reason is for wall banging spots. As soon as you get a live mark, wall banging your enemies will be easier than ever. Especially if your other teammates are also using combat scout. When I played ranked on rebirth, I just sat on top of control and I looked at everybody fighting in the tents of living quarters. Just that experience will make you fall in love with this perk. Oh. And now for my favorite part of this video. What can you do when you have both smoke grenades and combat scout at the same time. The most effective and common combination would be to blind your enemy and disable their aim assist with a smoke, while you can see them due to using combat scout and still being able to track them. Free smoke pings. Instead of worrying about having to press an extra button and even remembering that in the first place, Combat Scout will improve the comfort of using smokes by taking all of those problems away. Just land one bullet before the smoke pops. One for you. Last one three, one three. Down, 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 down. Post smoke pings. If you manage to ping before the smoke, the ping will stay only temporarily and sometimes it's not even enough. But if you use Combat Scout, your ping will be constantly regenerated every time you land a shot. Even if the enemy is in the smoke and the first shot landed on the enemy was after the smoke popped. You want to be aggressive in a smart way? Check out this play. Combat Scout! Combat Scout! Hip firing for info. When you are in a smoke without a live ping yet and you spot the enemy for a brief moment, look at the last known spot and hip fire till you get a mark and then enjoy the free wall hacks. I haven't seen anybody use Combat Scout this way, which is for shooting choke points for information. Usually shooting such type spots while the enemy is about to cross is not worth it as you can't knock or do any significant damage. But if you have Combat Scout, now you can know exactly where they're going and if they're behind the penetrable wall, you can keep live pinging them and wall banging them. Combat Scout, baby. I don't know what to call this reason, but a situation like this should be a 100% guaranteed win for Snoop Dogg right here. But look at what this combo allowed me to do to him. <laughs> and this is why I love Combat Scout. And now for disabling aim assist. Yes, this tactic is better for mouse and keyboard players, but if you are a good controller player, then you already practice some aim exercises without aim assist. And if you haven't, you should start now, whether it's to use this tactic effectively or to actually have better aim assist once you switch it back on. I personally know a lot of controller players that have tried this tactic and still had the advantage even without aim assist. And that is only because they went through this phase of practice. In the next video, I'm going to be talking about how I found one of the most important and beautiful and missed features about Warzone 1, bunny hopping. Yes, we can do it right now and it feels so good. And that was it guys, thank you for watching. And if you found any value and learned something new, a like and a subscribe to the channel would be highly appreciated. Oh, oh, oh my!